Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a few tools that will come in very handy if you use a chainsaw. And what these are are two different grease guns that you can use to grease the tip of your bar. They're both made by Oregon and John from Discount Online Parts sent them to me to show them to you guys. The first one here is the premium one from Oregon. It is made of metal and the second one is made of plastic. And both of these grease guns come in very handy to grease the tip of your bar using the hole here if you have one on your bar. Some bars do not have the small hole to grease them. And it's very important if you do have a small hole for grease that you do grease it regularly. What that will do is make the sprocket at the end of your bar last a lot longer. Now I'll start by showing you this one here. It is part number 40469-A from Oregon. And this one's made in Germany. And this one here comes preloaded with grease. And here's a close-up look of it. You can see the tip here is metal. And the way to inject the grease is by putting this at the tip of the hole and then pushing. I'll show you how to do that later in the video. Now the better one here is part 110534. And this one's made of metal. And you do get a cartridge of grease. And this one's made in Germany as well. It's nice and solid, all metal. And to inject the grease in that one, you just put the tip here on your bar and then squeeze the trigger here. Now to install the grease in this one, you have to remove the red cap here. You have to pull this out from inside. Then you need to open up your grease cartridge. And now insert the cartridge inside like this. Now I'm just pushing on it inside here. Now if you use the grease cartridge, you cannot put this clear plastic piece back in. So just put the red cap back on. And if you decide to refill it without using cartridges, then just use this cap here, put it back in. It's going to work the same as the cartridge cap inside. Just push on the red cap. Once you have the cartridge in, it pushes the grease right up to here, and then it's going to be ready to go. Now I'm going to show you how to use this one first. You want to locate the small grease hole on your bar. Again, as I've mentioned, some bars do not have a grease hole. You can always insert grease here manually at the tip of the bar on the inside, or just make sure you do not run out of bar oil in your chainsaw. Now all you have to do is put the tip here in the hole. Now I'm going to press down and it's going to squeeze some grease in. And don't worry if you put a few extra squirts of grease, it's just going to get used up by the chain. Now I've got a steel chainsaw here and it does have a grease hole at the end of the bar. I'm greasing the saw today to show you you can also do it while the chain is on like this. So the grease hole is right here on this one and with this grease gun you just push the trigger at the back and keep it nice and tight on the bar. And during the process just turn the chain like this. It's going to make your sprocket turn and distribute the grease evenly. I'm just going to give it a few more shots. And there's plenty of grease because you can see it's coming out of here where the chain is. Then you can wipe up the excess grease. And that's all there is to using these two tools to grease the tip of your bar. Do this regularly, especially during your cutting season. It will definitely extend the life of your bar and especially the sprocket on the tip. And Oregon makes good products. If you do buy one of these, you're going to have it for a long time. And you can refill both of these grease guns with a low temp grease, a grease that does not get hard in the winter. If you're only using it in the summertime, then it doesn't really matter. But just get a grease, like I said, that won't really get too hard in the winter time. We get really cold winters here in Ontario, so we have to be a little careful as to what kind of grease and oil we use. However, if you do buy the cartridges, it just makes it a bit more handy to refill quickly. So as you saw in the video guys, it's quite easy to maintain the tip of your bar by greasing it regularly with one of these tools. Make sure to get one of these, keep it in your toolbox so that you can regularly grease the tip of your chainsaw bar. Now I have put links to both of these under the video so that you can buy them directly from discountonlineparts.com if you live in the USA. If you live in Canada, I can sell you one of these directly. Just contact me below and I can ship it to you anywhere in Canada. So thanks again for watching guys and you can see me in my next video. Have a great day.